Okay, so in this question, we will learn about how do you find out the highest common factor? Highest common factor. By using Euclid's division algorithm. So we are given two numbers, 11, 5, 5 and 70. Now, if you remember, Euclid's division algorithm said that for any two given numbers A and B, A is equal to B into Q plus R, where R is greater than or equal to 0 but less than B. So here we have 1155 is equal to 70 into Q plus R. Okay, now if that be the case that, you know, this number is divisible by 70, then you can also write 1155 as what? I mean, this is 7, right? We know 70 is 7, so 70 will go into 115. Roughly you need to estimate as to what is the kind of multiple that you will need. I think it's 16. 70 into 16 plus. So if you do this, 70 into 16, what will you get? 1120 plus 35. So what you do is, the first thing that you need to do is to break this into the Euclid's division algorithm. Okay? Once you have done this, what do you do? You ignore this part, okay? And then you basically take down this value or the R or the remainder becomes the first set of number. So 35, okay? So you are left with 35. And the divisor, basically the 70, which was here, becomes the number. So what you do is, you first break up this number, these two numbers, into Euclid's division algorithm. Once you have done this, then you put in the number which is basically B here, you take that and the remainder becomes the second number. Okay? Are you getting me? What I did was to find the highest common factor of these two numbers, first thing I did was I broke them into the Euclid's division algorithm. Right? Now, for then I need to move on to the step 2. And in step 2, again, the A and B of step 2 will be as under. Whatever was B in step 1 becomes A. Okay? And the number B here is the remainder. The remainder. So now you have to write 70 and 35 in such a manner that you satisfy this Euclid's theorem. A is equal to BQ plus R. 70 is equal to 35 into 2 plus 0. I mean B I know is 35. I know if I multiply 35 by 2, I will get 70. So therefore, R is equal to 0. Now, this step has to be repeated till the time actually your R becomes 0. Once your R becomes 0, you need to see what is the value of B here. B is equal to 35. And whatever is the value of B basically becomes your highest common factor.
So as step, if I were to write down, let me just pull this through for you. Step one, write two numbers in Euclid's division algorithm form. Okay, that's the first step. Step two, B of step one, or whichever is the earlier step, becomes A for step two. And R of earlier step is equal to B for next step. Three, when R becomes zero, value of B is the HCF. So once R becomes zero, whatever is the value of B in that equation, that is the highest common factors of any two number.